Tackle Warehouse Pro Mark Menendez here with you, and we're gonna have a little art project. Have a little fun with a couple baits. Something I do an awful lot of, dealing with my die safe and dying to fish die. Spilling dye in your boat, not a good deal. Bass boats are expensive. We don't want to get dye everywhere. This is a really cool little device to, uh, to alleviate that problem and to allow your baits to dry so they're ready to fish. So let me show you what we're gonna do here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna put a little orange on the belly of a space monkey. This is one of my favorite baits of all time from Strike King. And then I'm gonna dye the tail chartreuse. We're gonna make this thing look just like a bluegill. So what I wanna do is shake up my dye a little bit, put it in the center hole for safety. This foam will absorb any dye that gets spilled. I'm gonna lay my bait right there. Then I'm gonna take a Q-tip and I'm gonna put a little bit of, little bit of orange on here, rub that belly, get that orangish hue to it. Green's picking that up pretty good right there. Get a little bit of orange on his belly. Get another one over here and get a little orange on his belly on that space monkey. Just changes that just a hint. Makes it look more like a bluegill. We're gonna do five or six of these so we'll have them ready while we catch some fish. See, everything's drying. There's no chance of spilling the dye and making my carpet all orange. I don't want to do that. And yet, it, like I said, it's an art project. It makes it go so much faster. Okay, let that dry. Then we're going to take, secure this back into the foam spot there. Then we're going to take a little chartreuse crawfish Put it back in the hole, and we're gonna dye our tails. Turn those chartreuse. There, that one goes good. A little bit of orange on his belly. We'll have a little chartreuse. Now this is Blue Craw Space Monkey. It's got some pearlescent blue in it, just like the tail of a bluegill. This thing looks just like one, and we're gonna be swimming it as our technique. Now as these Space monkeys are drying. You can see I've got them on the, on the foam, on the insert, and they're drying that way. I don't have any spillage. Got one more to do right there. There's a half a dozen of them right there. Get that little hint of orange on the belly. Chartreuse. All right, now where'd my cap go? There we go. Alleviate the problem of spilling any of the dye into fish dye. Put it on there tight. And now, I've got a half a dozen space monkeys ready for battle. I'm gonna put it on a 5 off straight chunk worm hook, 5 sixteenths slip sinker. One thing you have to do with the monkey, you have to tear it apart. The mold process molds everything to the body so the appendages move freer. Just tear them all apart just like that. Come through the top of the monkey, out the bottom kind of a little keel. And this thing looks like a bluegill in the water. This blob swimming with all these appendages. Now we're rigged and ready for battle. There he is. Got him. Uh -huh. Get out. On the monkey. The monkey is definitely a bait to go to anytime you got bluegill in the system that are spawning, where the fish are coming off the bed. Like this little fella, he's been on there. It looks just like a bluegill. Easy bite, big bite. Nice little old bass to get started with with the monkey. You've got all that commotion going on with these rage flanges on these legs, all of that movement in a chunky, big bodied bait. Looks just like a bluegill. We dyed it with a dye and a fish dye and it's color just like one. It's got the pearlescent blue, it's got some orange in it, it's got some chartreuse in it. It is the perfect match to the hatch. 
The shallower I go, the faster I'll tend to fish it, but just wind it. I mean, you can fish it in a traditional movie rod tip up and down, that's fine. It's a great flipping bait. Love the flipping in and around bushes or willow trees or whatever, but just wind it. The easier, the better. That's the way I like to fish. You see, we've got grass in this lake. We're just winding it right over the top of the grass. Get these fish to come up and get it. This is really a good postponed bait. They want a big easy meal and this matches it just perfect. There's one. Got it swimming. Oh, goodness gracious, is he pulling? He's a little upset. There's a little blowing. Look below him. There's another one right there with him. Right there with him. How about that? If I had something to drop on him, I'd drop it right there and get two. All right, come up here, buddy. You got the monkey. You got the monkey. No, just that slow wind. Got legs flipping and flopping. Looks like a bluegill. They just can't handle it. I'm just looking for any ambush point along this grass line. Anything that sticks out a little further. Any hole in the grass. Just dropped it right in that hole. Golly, is that fish pulling? He's not that big, but he's just pulling like a freight train. One, two, three, come on. How about that? Look at that, monkey time. Winding the monkey. That's what I came up with. Go. Not only is the monkey a great swimming style bait, but it makes a great jig trailer, flat body, it skips really well. But on high bluebird days in clean water, this swimming technique is really good. But sometimes a swim jig is just too much bulk. Too much bulk for the fish to, to address the jig. But the monkey being thin but flat, with all of that action, kind of negates the bulk of a jig and I can swim the bait and still be successful. Oh, that's pretty. He came out of there and just munched it. He said, oh. I think this one is ye old Blackbeard. Look at his little nose, it's all black. We're gonna call him Blackbeard. Either that or Charlie Chaplin because he's got a mustache. One of the two, I don't know. Come on, that one knocked the fire out of it. It's like a spinnerbait bite. He hit it so hard. Look behind him. There's three with him. There's three with him. Golly, I don't have another rod. What's on it? Oh, there's a swim bait right there. Well, yeah, where'd he go? Everybody disappeared. Oh, there he is. There he is right there. There's two over here with my fish. There's two right here. Oh, that one looked at it. Oh, well, it was worth a try. Always be watching in clean water and you might get a, get a chance. Or if you're fishing a team tournament, make sure you've got a follow-up bait for your buddy to throw right in there behind him and get you an extra keeper or two that way. That's another good fish, how about that? 
I mean, this one hit it just like a spinner bait. I was whining and he was, boom, he got it. This was the last fish's brother. See there, they both got a mustache. The last fish's brother, so. Yeah, there's one right there, still swimming around, looking for his brother. And three, two, and one, there you go. Get on out of here. Oh, he ran out there and got it, how about that? That's a bed fish. He did not like the monkey on the bed. Hid from him, ran right under the corner of the grass and then dropped the monkey on him and look what he did, he ate him. And, tournament legal fish inside the mouth. The monkey, it looks like a bluegill. That's the number one predator when bass are on the bed. he is. Mm -hmm. Good fish. They hit this thing so hard, they want to get away from them. They want to kill it. You know, gear selection is pretty easy. Seven foot six inch, custom speed stick, magnum heavy rod. It's my utilitarian rod. I do everything with this rod. I've got a magnesium speed spool on there, 7.5 to 1, 20 pound Invisex, 5 16 ounce tour grade tungsten sinker, and a 5 alt straight shank gamma gamakatsu hook. Just a straight flipping kind of setup, but yet the rod is a moderate action and it loads up, you very sensitive, loads up real well when they bite it. You can rock them and not worry about anything else, just get them in the boat. That one fish that's been up here on the flat this whole time, I bet he eats this. Golly, did you see that? He came from the back side of the grass line, over the top of it, and drilled it. I mean, it's a great white here. Shark the deal. Sharked it now. You drilled him right at the top of the head with that straight shake gam. Good fish. On the monkey. Got bit by the monkey, didn't you, dude? In a hole in the grass, dropping the money. And wine singing. Pretty good fish right there. Ah. Don't forget to like, share, and tag one of your friends for the gear giveaway so you can find some space monkeys of your own at Tackle Warehouse. <laughs>